Cohost AI has now been updated with more features and improvements to make your podcasting workflow even better. And it has been expanded to include nine new languages. In the last video, we showed how to turn on Cohost AI, uh, get title recommendations, chapter markers, an episode description, and a transcription. So if you're looking to get started with Cohost AI, I recommend going back to that video and I'll put a link to that in the description. So let's take a look at what's new. When you click the Cohost AI summary, there's now three AI generated social posts to promote your new episode. You can tweet that from here or copy and paste it into your preferred social media platform. And below the episode description, we now have a blog post draft. This does a lot of the work when it comes to repurposing content, and it's really helpful if you do things like create a separate web page for each episode. Now, let's take a look at the updated transcript editor. Now, when you go to edit the transcript, there's a new interface that comes up that's a little more advanced than the document style editor we had before. And one of the biggest changes is the ability to name speakers. And the number of speakers detected depends on how many people spoke on your podcast. Before I type the name of speaker one, I want to listen to a sound clip so I know who it is. Well, if any of you have received this invitation, that's me. So I'm going to type my name here. Then next to the name is a drop down menu, so you can choose what role the speaker has in the episode. I'm a host, so I'm going to click host. Now let's listen to speaker two. You run the risk with any podcasting 2.0 feature. Okay. So that is a guest that we had on this episode, Tom. So I'm going to click guest, but I could also assign co-host if it's an ad, a caller, interviewer, interviewee, other or unknown. And then when you're finished, you click save. Another feature that is new to our transcript editor is the ability to listen back to the part that you're editing. This is useful if you want to double check the transcription, but don't remember exactly what was said in the episode. To do this, just click a word, hit the play button. I didn't realize I had my screen on. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize I was being recorded. And if you need to make any changes, you can just click in the word to update it. And when you're happy with the episode transcript, just click done. I hope these tools help improve your podcast workflow. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments or reach out to support at buzzsprout.com. Thanks for watching and keep podcasting.